The International Committee of the Red Cross is scaling up its efforts now to provide life-saving relief to people on the ground in Gaza. The organization remains on the ground despite instructions issued by Israeli authorities to leave because they're coming in. Public Relations Officer at International Red Cross, Sarah Elizabeth Davies, is joining me now from Jerusalem. Uh, Sarah, it's good to see you and the work that you're doing. What are you hearing from your team in Gaza who is attempting to provide humanitarian assistance with extremely limited resources. We know there's been no water and food and electricity. Thank you so much for having me, Phil, firstly. Um, so we have been in touch with our colleagues in Gaza. Um, obviously, this is an incredibly devastating situation for thousands. Uh, I spoke to a colleague today who described seeing hundreds, if not thousands of people walking along the road, um, children, entire families, elderly citizens, we know that fuel is running out, which is required to run the generators that people are relying on for things like electricity. Um, we know that food and water is becoming more and more scarce. Grocery shops are, are running out of supplies and are unable to uh, restock. Parents are literally not sure where to put their children to sleep at night because they've had to relocate. Um, and, and they're watching this, this horrific situation and they don't know what's going to happen next. They don't know what to do. They don't know what the next day will bring. The International Committee of the Red Cross says it is now in contact with Hamas and Israeli officials as part of efforts to reduce human suffering. What can you tell us more about these talks? Because I don't know anybody who has spoken like this uh, or says they've spoken like this to Hamas. Uh, at this point in what's going on in the past nine days. So what were those talks like? So we are a neutral organization, neutral, impartial, independent. This is the way we have operated for 160 years for this reason, so that we can speak to authorities, forces, uh, those involved, parties to conflicts on both sides. This is for uh, the protection of civilians so we can and reiterate things like international humanitarian law, our concerns, what we're seeing on the ground, and the civilian suffering. Uh, we cannot go into, of course, the content of these discussions. Um, they are done in a bilateral and confidential manner. Uh, but we are absolutely relentlessly working to ensure that our concerns are known, to ensure that international humanitarian law is being reiterated that civilians must be protected, that medical workers must be protected uh, in order to, to continue the conversation with all parties to the conflict. And we do this bilaterally, of course, and we're also doing this uh, publicly. All right, Public Relations Officer at International Red Cross, Sarah Elizabeth Davies, thank you for that and the work you're doing. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.